Is it really sad to say that I never go to Sawgrass Mall, like, ever? Like, there were cute things, but like... Feel that you are an impulse purchase. Hello. <laughs> it's feeling very cruise ship-like. Great Starbucks. This is the Great Sawgrass. I'm glad that there's like normal stores here too, but not everything is like clearance. Ooh, cushiony chairs to rest your booty and have it massage. <laughs> what is this? Is this like a Saks an office or oh, an outlet? Like it's interesting, you know? Too overwhelming. I cannot do this. Can't do this. Like I would have like a massive anxiety attack just like going through the racks here. Like the little like skateboard type stuff, like those stores that like they turn that on like giant super fans. Huh? That's so weird. Or is it just aesthetic? Like, is it supposed to look like, like a boat hanger? The loop. I don't know what the loop means. The loop I see things, like a lot of like, I call it like tchotchke things, like a lot of like random stuff. They're like, does it go around or it does? Oh yeah, it goes around on the mini, on the mini conveyor belt. They go around and they go around and we're gonna follow the food. We're gonna follow it. Where are you going, food? You're leaving me. Where are you going? Oh, that's a lot of food. Okay, it's just going and going and going and going. It, it like makes you make like quick decisions. Though. Like you have to like, you, you feel like you have to like eat it very quickly. So what are the goals today? Find a place to eat. Show the people the food. Like we brought our own food. We'll probably get like a, a snack too at some point, but I have found something that is ancient of my generation, a hot topic. I didn't even know there was freestanding hot topics anymore. Cool. I miss Hot Topic. Land and random stuff. This buckle. This looks so overwhelming. This this looks like like the thought of going through all of these racks and going through this seems like a, a like this would not even be a fun vlog to make. It would be like. It's quick in the moonlight. Ah. More tchotchke things, very cruise ship like, huh? Have like Disney themed stuff, like lounge flies and all that. Coconuts from a tree. Pikachu, right? Pikachu. Have we located a food establishment? There's two of them, or there's more than two? Yay! Now we've arrived at Foodland. It's pretty bad that not only did we bring our own food, like cost reasons, but I actually feel like the main reason we brought our food today is because we were terrified as to um, where we were and we feel like there might not be any food around whatsoever and that we might, you know, starve. But um, there's like a Burger King like right behind me. But yeah, we brought our own food because you never know. There may not be food. What did we bring? We brought pasta. Not ashamed at all. We and, brought... And orgasic We brought pasta and um, or, say organic. He, he says organic. organic. We brought organic cheese. That's what we're going to call it. Okay, so now I'll eat for a bit. I have eight my organic pasta and cheese from home. I don't mind getting a snack, but like, I don't know. I was like happy that I brought my own food so that way you don't starve. I will show you all the places. We have Burger King, um, different Chinese restaurants, Cajun Grill, Popeyes, Philly Steaks, but I was very concerned that I could starve. So I brought my own food. So we have these healthier places. That's ja Japanese food. I've seen one of these in a really long time. There used to be one at Aventura Mall. Store that specializes in grilled cheese. Because you can never have enough grilled cheese. Some type of place that specializes in cauliflower. I can imagine if you eat that much cauliflower, you would, you would not have to drink prune juice. Just saying. Oh, the boba. More chicken. I guess some people could argue the same thing about chicken. If you eat this much chicken, you probably won't have to have prune juice, right? Niche down things are super weird, huh? I, I really wouldn't think of going to the mall and getting myself like a hunk of corn. Disney store, where are you? Zoomies. 
so confused right now. We want to go here to the Disney store. Where is the thing where it says, where are you? You are here. Where does it say that? Why is there no, you are, oh, you are here. You are here. Oh. Oh. Okay. We are not in the correct place. We are in the loop. And we want to get to the yellow. Oh. Okay. So how do I get there? I don't know which way, I don't know which way this is. Uh, you came from the blue. I came from the blue? Mm -hmm. So which way am I going? That makes no sense. Which way is left? I don't know what left means. I am very confused. More chairs because they feel that you don't know where you're going and you might as well sit down and give up, basically. On the ride. Do I want to go on the ride? No. Maybe. Maybe. But another chair. We were just at. Can I? Isn't the other chair like back there? Yeah, the other chair is like right there. And now we have another chair like right here. I'm so confused. Oh no. Another store. Oh my god. I'm just gonna like step one foot into this. Oh my god. Um. This is a clear no. This is this is a no. This is a no. This is too much anxiety. Why are there so many soda machines? Machine, 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 machine. I don't really know why. Why so many? We have found the yellow. We wanted to go to the yellow. The yellow tells us we're going in the right direction, apparently. For cruise, but it's like overwhelming because it's like, it's just too much. You don't think so? Or am I just like saying that? Because to me, it feels like too much. It's very overwhelming. I personally think I do better. You know what I thought when I saw these boxes? Harry Potter, like the wands. That's what I instantly thought. A vegan place, cool. I like healthy. So Paxson, I love Paxson. Overwhelming, what is this? A sporting goods, like it's open. Like if this was in Colorado, I think you would be excited. But the thing about Colorado shopping is there's no shopping. There's no shopping. So if you, remember there was a store like this? Sure, there was in, a, uh, in one of the shopping centers. And it had like boating stuff. I remember yeah, it had like actual was, um, boating stuff. Where? I see it. I see it. It is there. It is right there. Oh my god. We have found the other food court. I think I like this one better. It has like a teepee thing going on. Very animal kingdom. This one is remodeled. I like this one better. So I think this is the one that had this, this bar. This is the one that had the thing. The, the thing with the plane on the ceiling. Hi. So this is the second food court here. And this one seems to be like superior Asian restaurant here. Uh, kind of the same setup with the bathrooms. Um, Chipotle, which I'm more used to. This is called clutter that I, that I, that I think I need. Well, how cute is that? Like the honey pot and the giant pop art and stuff. Oh, these are those Funko Pop things. This is the thing oh. that they said that they were going to um, um, to get rid of them all. That company that said they were going to um, squish them all. How horrible is that? Why don't they donate them to a hospital or something? Huh? I kind of want all this. It's like impulse purchases, but I feel like I want all this. So this is the stuff that they were going to squish. Oh my God. Look at this, the Cinderella thing. Huh? Isn't that cute? Huh? I didn't know they made sets that were this big. Harry Potter set, look at that. Mm -hmm. We have made it to the character warehouse. This is exciting because like, this is the first time I've been to a Disney store where I'm seeing Disney, you know, merchandise in a really long time. We are going into the great character warehouse. Oh my God, there's like things for like $3.99. There's things, there's things in there for like $3.99. Do you understand how cheap that is? Like with everything, like what Disney sells. It's just exciting. This, you realize that this is all the same merchandise, right? Like this is the stuff that you see in the stores. It's weird because like I'm seeing it. I always see like the vloggers show this stuff, you know? And I, I haven't seen this stuff in person. So this stuff is cute. Oh, is this stuff? Oh, this is how you could get in trouble in the store. That thing is like twenty dollars, and it's really cute. You know that? This penny. 
like a hard covered one. It's a hundred dollars. They're they're off like one forty nine instead of two ninety eight. So it's a big discount. It's just that you have to make sure you find one that has like a nice print to it. What is this? What is this little thing? This is the thing that matches my. This is only six dollars. I, I think I might have to get him eyeliner. Eight dollars. It is eight dollars. Look, look how cute all this is. Like I'm legit losing my mind. Like a weird cup. $14.99. I am losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Light up thing. What is this? This is a dollar. It's the stuff that they're trying to get rid of, you know? It's only if you like it. Like, I wouldn't recommend people coming in here and being like, lose their minds, you know? I think that a lot of the patterns here didn't do Like, like I have that. never seen That's this in the park. park. Like, some stuff I've seen in the parks and some stuff I haven't. But you shouldn't like, lose your, your mind and, and get, like this is a good, here. like this is $14.99. But quite honestly, I don't think that this was in the park. This I believe was, but this is not marked down that much. It's 74 instead of like 130. You know, it's not like super marked down because that was in the park. This is $7.99. Everything. Feel that you are an impulse purchase. So I'm going to leave you behind. Goodbye. I have you already and stuff. The animal form. Goodbye. Hello. Look at the Halloween stuff. 20, 20, this is 29 instead of 75 it says it's a big this it's nice like the pattern is nice and again they're different see like with this one she's in the middle do you see that like she's in the middle and then this one he's in the middle these plushes are a big discount because this was the stuff that like people were buying with those collections. Like this was the Rocky Mountain collection and it came like a pin or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this is now, I think they said it's like $10 and mm -hmm. they were regularly, let me see, $35. So all of these are $10 because they couldn't get rid of them. How much are these things? How much is the Yoda? I don't know exactly. I think they're all like, oh, they're like, I don't know, a couple bucks. I have no idea how much this stuff is. It's very nice though. Like this, I thought it said 29. I'm like, oh, that's not, that's good for 29. And then I realized it was not 29. <laughs> yeah, like this was part of that collection. You know? Yeah, that was in the park, and then the stuffed animal, and then the matching pin was all in the park. I mean, there were a few cute things. Like, like I like the little green thing, but I don't know. It's more that I'm trying to cut back on clutter, you know? Like, there were cute things, but like, I'm trying to cut back on clutter because we probably don't need to go into the Disney character warehouse and buy the entire store, even though I saw cute things. I'm trying to resist getting the, um, the little green pouch. I have a use for it, though. I could put, like, coins in it. Like these were a pretty good deal. The fact that that was like $10 and that was in the park. And then the only thing I've heard about these, these designer bags is that like the print can be a little off sometimes. So, but I mean, that one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty normal to me. Back to the food court so we can potty and change the battery of Petunia. Did you know I named the, car the camera Petunia? That's the problem with these stores here. The reason that people are coming to Sawgrass is to go for these deals. And it just is so overwhelming, these places, that I cannot do this. You know, you, I honestly feel like you get just as good deals at Macy's in the back, in the sales section at Macy's. You know, if you're getting a top from Levi's for $10, I just burped, that, that's a good sale. A $10 top of Levi's, you don't need to go the sawgrass because people in the comments are gonna be like well oh, you're shopping fancy it's like well levi's for ten dollars is levi's for ten dollars on sale why do you need to come here it's just too overwhelming you know so you're supposed to get your teeth white in here that seems sparkly 
So now we are attempting to find Starbucks. You never wanted Starbucks so bad. <laughs> you would think like you're gonna get a good deal. Those shorts right there says $60. Why would you buy that when you could get Levi's on sale in Aventura for like, you know, $12? A ton of outdoor shops which I might be too lazy to show you but there you go they're out there okay doors closing that means bye bye I think this is supposed to be a resold item so like oh look they have Birkins Birkin bags you see that so this shows you that this is they're in the cabinet there locked right there so this shows you that it's not it's not so exclusive to be quite honest like I'm not like trying to like knock sawgrass but the fact that they have Birkins in a Sawgrass Mall next to a Starbucks and a Rainforest Cafe. That should help you put it into perspective that it's not worth anything. Oh, oh, it's that way. Is that super weird? I've never seen it before. So we got a nice coffee. I am excited. I haven't had Starbucks coffee in a while. And we're gonna go find, well, there's like a weird tent situation. So we're gonna go find somewhere to drink the iced coffee. I think we are going to take our iced coffee outside so that way we can properly have our iced coffee in the great outdoors here this one speaks to me more more um horizontal for my butt you have made it to the great outdoors that place actually looks cute like the little freestanding thing it's like a restaurant with seating you see that what i'm looking at we have a restaurant right behind us. I have to learn how to properly multitask because this is how it is. It says have an iced coffee and it says sawgrass. That way you know I was here. I'm at the mall. That is the mall behind me. I feel that I have walked and I have frolicked enough. Now I'm gonna go back to where my iced coffee is and get more iced coffee. And very important, if you are entering the mall, you need to know where a bathroom is, like me. The bathroom was like right there. So I wanna give you guys my honest feedback on this mall. As a tourist attraction, you know, maybe you've never been here before. Maybe you're getting off a cruise on one of those tours and you wanna see it, that's fine. You know, it's probably interesting to see it but honestly, I don't see that this is so much better than, for example, going to Aventure Mall or, for that matter, even shopping online. These sales are not that amazing here. I feel it's a lot of fake sales. And to have the patience, everyone's different, but to have the patience to, uh, you know, swim through the racks of clothing here is kind of overwhelming. I have found much better sales, for example. I have found much better sales at Macy's in the back or online it's honestly a pretty overwhelming mall like I wouldn't have the patience to do this all the time and um, you know I'm here when it's at its its best I'm here at the mall when it's at its best it's a it's a weekend it's early it's bright out and you know you got your you know afternoon crowd coming here um, but I couldn't really imagine being here like on a weekday or walking around here in the evening. It would get kind of like sketchy feeling and you really don't get that vibe that much at Aventura Mall. Uh, Boca Mall honestly is pretty creepy too. But um, I was not super impressed, I have to say, because I like giving you guys my honest opinions. So it was a good day out. I'm glad I came and now I'm just going to like try to get some thumbnails. So there. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you soon in my next video and bye. It's very, very hot out. So I'm going to go get more iced coffee and bye.